talking about the food, you know what? I could really go for a bacon cheeseburger right now. I could too. I didn't have any lunch. But fortunately, New Molossa is already scouting out prices for burgers right now. Well, we're getting ready to find out just how far meat prices are going to rise in this week's Bottom Line. The Bottom Line is brought to you by The Cotton Board, strengthening the fiber of our industry. Well, I'm here at Alexander's Market in Baton Rouge to check out some of the consumer prices here right now at the grocery store. American Farm Bureau has its latest market basket survey out, and as we are here in the latter half of 2014, we are finding prices a bit higher according to the survey, so we're going to check out some of the local prices here. The price is, of course, being driven by meat. So I heard someone mention something about bacon cheeseburgers, and the price for each one of those items in that cheeseburger is higher. Ground chuck roast, for instance, up 17% in the Farm Bureau survey from last year to $4.31 per pound. Bacon is up 9% to $5.11 per pound. And cheddar cheese up 6% to $4.78 per pound. Meat in general is higher, of course. Sirloin tip roast led this year's survey in price increase, for instance, up 27% to $5.52 per pound. Sliced deli ham is up 16% to $5.44. Eggs and milk were both up as well, although milk showed only a modest increase as production has ramped up in dairy overall. About the only price break in meat is in poultry, where the survey found chicken breasts down at 12% to $3.46 per pound. Your french fries might be cheaper too, as potatoes are down 15% to $2.72 per pound. And the flour to make the bread for that hamburger is down at 7% to $2.47 for a five pound bag. So how do the prices compare here at Alexander's? Well, it's kind of a wash. The bacon here, for instance, was a little bit cheaper at $4. 79 here per pound compared to 511 according to the survey average overall. Let's take a look at the ground chuck beef here which is at 509 a pound, a little more expensive than the survey which was at 431. Now, of course, one of the great things about local markets here in Alexand at like Alexanders is that you can get it all together, a bacon cheddar cheeseburger right here produced. It's 699 a pound, but that's all the elements put together, put together beautifully. You can see that thick cut bacon right there. Uh, all on top of the patty. Now, the bottom line here is we will be back in a couple of weeks with a look at the Thanksgiving prices where I expect we'll see kind of the same level of increase that we see year over year. Hopefully by next year, though, we should see a drop in consumer prices. By the way, guys, back at the studio, one of the people in this year's American Farm Bureau survey was Taylor Fry, one of the 87 people looking at the prices nationwide. So if you're looking for that bacon cheeseburger, ask her. Yeah, I don't know how good of a cook Taylor is, but I'll ask her for the recipe anyway. Anyway. Well, that about does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. And for all of us here at Twyla, thank you for watching. We hope to see you again right here next week. Mm -hmm.